Happy Thursday, Facebook friends. Welcome back to Facebook. I'm Angie Garza, Director of Professional Learning and Educational Services, serving Lee, Ogle, and Whiteside counties. Coming back to you here on Facebook for another edition of Teacher Talk. And if you're just joining us this fine month of April, we are spending our Teacher Talks uh, visiting with some of our Education Pathway students who are preparing for our first annual educational symposium at Sock Valley Community College at the end of the month. So we're going to be talking with them a little bit more about all things Pathway, including their team-based challenge. Joining me for my conversations this morning is, as always, my friend, colleague, and co-host, Mrs. Stacey Dingus, our digital teaching and learning specialist, and our third pathway navigator who is doing some really close work with um, all of our education pathway systems and students. Morning, Stacy. Good morning, Angie. In all things education pathway uh, this morning, as we are leading up, like you had mentioned, to our education symposium, um, we had the opportunity to talk to some Amboy students last week and excited to feature some students kind of from the other side um, of our three county area in Rock Falls. So I'm ready to get this conversation going. Stacey, right, we're firmly planted in Whiteside County uh, for our teacher talk this morning, visiting with some of our Pathway students and their advisor, Mrs. Heidi Ripley. So we're gonna start off this morning um, by saying good morning to Mrs. Ripley and uh, welcoming you to teacher talk. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your role in our Education Pathway Endorsement Program? I am Mrs. Ripley. I teach family consumer sciences for most of the day here at Rock Falls High School. Um, this year I was asked to um, help with the pathway. I am really excited to allow these four students plus two juniors that went through the pathway with us to become future educators. Um, I currently have been teaching at Rock Falls High School for 29 years. I'm retiring in four years, so I'll be looking for someone to replace me. So hopefully I can help with that. And I have lots of colleagues that are in our building right now that are former students who are a wonderful addition to our building. And I can't wait till we get these students back in our district. That is so exciting. Um, thinking about growing our own, especially in the midst of this educator shortage that we're facing, not only in Illinois, but across the nation. So I'm really excited to meet and speak with your students here this morning um, to find out a little bit more about what called them to, uh, to education, as well as to find out a little bit more about how it's going. So um, as you mentioned, we have four shining future educators with us here on Teacher Talk. Um, so I am going to turn it over to Bree, Ellie, Haley, and Allie and ask that they introduce themselves and tell us a little bit about themselves and, and their life at Rock Falls High School. Hi, I'm Brianna Morgan. All up until my junior year, I played volleyball, basketball, and softball, but now I'm currently working to save up money for college, and right now during my senior year, I attend at WACC for the early childhood education. Hi, I'm Ellie Lawson. Um, I'm part of National Honor Society. I'm in student council, and I'm the vice president of the senior class. I participate in cheerleading and golf all four years of high school. <laughs> Hello, my name is Haley Voss. Um, I go to Rock Falls High School. Um, I have cheered all four years here, basketball and football. Um, I took Mrs. Ripley's education class. I went on this field trip with her to go to ISU, which is the college that I am attending. Um, and I'm really excited to further my education there. Hi, my name is Allie. I'm currently a senior at Rock Falls High School. I was a cheerleader for four years and I went to WACC my junior year where I realized I wanted to be a teacher. We are so happy to have you guys with us today. Um, before we get started and, and start really talking about this education pathway, would you each kind of share quickly uh, with us, why are you interested in education? What is it about the idea of being a teacher um, you know, pursuing a career in education that is interesting to you? I am interested in education because from elementary to my high school years, I've had a few teachers who have really impacted my life, and I want to do that for my students as well when I begin teaching. 
Um, ever since I was younger, I've always said I wanted to be a teacher, but nowadays I think it's because I want to put that impact on other students and just be there for them. I have always thought about becoming a teacher ever since I was little. Um, I like helping students in class, my fellow peers. Um, if they don't know something, I like to help them if, that, if I can. Um, I liked to play teacher with my siblings as well <laughs> when we were younger. So it has always been something that I've kind of known. So I have a lot of teachers in my family, a lot of aunts and my mom even. So I've seen a lot of different sides of teaching. And my junior year, like I said, I went to WACC and I think I realized I wanted to be a teacher then. This is Ripley. When you were introducing yourself earlier, um, obviously you've spent a lot of time at Rock Falls High School. You're a very busy lady. So what was it about the education pathway that um, kind of caught your attention when you know you thought you would take on another um, another program, another initiative in your school. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how you were interested in it, um, why it piqued your interest, and um, you know how things are going with the, the pathway program at Rock Falls High School? Not only do I do the pathway, but one of the other classes I get to teach is our financial literacy class, consumer education. And in consumer education, I teach a lot of juniors and seniors, and it always um, worries me when I have juniors and seniors who have no idea what they want to do to go off to school. So when Mr. McCord, our superintendent said, we're going to start this pathway where they can get some experience. Um, my son went off to college and changed his major um, and he's now changed it twice. So I'm hoping that this allows the students to come in, get some experience, decide if this is really what they want to do before they go off to school and um, waste a lot of money and then change their mind and end up, because it's very, very expensive to go to um, a four-year university to become a teacher and then realize your junior year, well, I'm kind of stuck here, so I might as well do this. We have teachers who I've seen come through Rock Falls High School who they thought they wanted to teach, got in and started, and then realized after a year, this wasn't what they wanted to do. And then they're kind of stuck with what do I do from here? So this will give the students that advantage of I either like it, I don't like it, and um, then they can make a very, very good decision before they go off to college. Ladies, uh, when you think about your involvement in the Education Pathway Program, what, what called you to uh, participate? What, what is it about the program that you enjoy the most? Um, just to remind our um, Facebook listeners, uh, there are many different aspects of the Education Pathway Endorsement Program in order uh, to achieve that final you know, stamp on the transcript, including a 60-hour um, supervised experience, team-based challenge, career exploration. So what have you been up to and what is, you know, what are some of your most favorite activities as being a um, involved in this Education Pathway Endorsement Program? My favorite thing about the Pathway experience was a 60-hour experience because we actually got to go into a classroom and teach. We also got to make lesson plans and create just crafts and homework for the kids that we wanted to do with them. And the 60 hour experience really gave me confidence. So like when I'm teaching or like even in my high school classes, like I just feel much more confident in front of all my classmates because of the 60 hour experience. Um, my favorite part of class was also the 60 hour experience. Um, so we not only got to go in and see the pluses of being an educator, but also those like not so good days. And we were taught how to deal with those not so great days as an educator. So my favorite part of the pathway was the 60 hour experience. Um, like Ellie said, seeing the highs and lows of the students and um, how to react in that situation. Um, this, like I said, the students like to put on a show um, for some students, for some teachers. So when we go in there every single day and see the struggles and um, just even the happy days that are on it really shows us what uh, we need to expect for a classroom. So I'm gonna agree with all of them and 
and the 60 hour was also my favorite just because it's easy to like sit in a classroom and learn about what makes a good teacher but it was really nice to like actually go out to a different school and apply what we were learning and I think it was the most beneficial for all of us. Sounds like that 60 hour experience was an invaluable experience for all of you to get a true taste of what um, it means to be an educator on the front line. So kudos to all of you for all of that hard work and all that you invested into the students that you were working with this year. I know another part of our pathway endorsement requirement is the team-based challenge. And uh, a little birdie told me that all of you have been uh, very involved in planning and executing your team-based challenge um, to help some of your peers at Rock Falls High School do maybe a little career exploration. Can you tell me a little bit more about that experience? For our team-based challenge, we went to our high school's college and career fair, and we had a booth set up promoting our class, the Pathway class, but we also made a questionnaire sheet, a start conversation starter for our peers, like the freshmen and sophomores that were coming to the college and career fair. So they would like relieve their nerves talking to the colleges and the career pathways that were there so they could be at ease when they were talking to them. Um, we also made a uh, scavenger hunt for the students to uh, do while they walked around. We did we have a conversation, but we also had a scavenger hunt for the students to use as they walked around. So as they went to different booths, they just got signatures at different like categories. And once they were um, finished with their, their uh, signatures, they got to put it in a drawing for a prize. So I think that also got them more involved and kind of push them to talk to people more. Yeah, we had set up um, a booth and we had um, our treasure hunt that really, I feel like really um, incorporated the students. And we also were promoting our education pathway class um, at our booth. And so we did have many students come up and ask, what is this class? What's it about? And we had a big poster that Mrs. Ripley kindly made. It was very nice. Um, that just kind of explained all about the pathway, what this class is and what you do in this class. I think the career fair was really nice because not only were we helping out the underclassmen who were too scared to ask questions at the colleges or career booths, but we also got to go promote our class to them. So I thought it was a lot of fun. We got to answer questions and talk about our 60 hour experience. Sign signatures. And we got to sign the signatures, of course. <laughs> and um, it was just really fun. And it was great to be involved. Well, ladies, clearly um, the experiences that you're getting while at Rock Falls High School um, are definitely going to set you um, steps ahead from others who are pursuing a career in education. Um, it sounds like you guys are doing some, some great things. So um, probably the most exciting question as you are nearing um, the end, you know, what is next for you guys? What is your future plans? Where are you headed? Um, what do you hope to do? Tell us a little bit about that. After I graduate high school, I am going to Western Illinois University in the Quad Cities for elementary education. And while I go there, I am going to take online courses for special education as well. Um, I'll be attending Carl Sandburg College in Galesburg. Uh, I'll be getting an associate's in science there to start off my um, degree in elementary education. After uh, Carl Sandburg, I will be transferring to a four-year university to obviously major in elementary education. And I'll also be golfing at Carl Sandburg. <laughs> I um, will be attending Illinois State University, which ironically is where we had gone for our field trip for the pathway. So another reason um, the pathway is so good is that it opened my eyes to a different school that I didn't think that I would actually even be able to get into. So um, I really like the campus, I explored it, and um, it's I, I feel very comfortable there. So I'm really grateful that we get to um, do this and I'll attend there for four years for my elementary education. 
and hopefully just become a teacher afterwards. So I plan to attend Soft Valley Community College to do my first two years and then transfer to a four-year university. Mm -hmm. And I will major in special education and hopefully get an ESL endorsement. Well, ladies, you are wise beyond your years right now and certainly beyond um, most experiences that your peers have had uh, by participating in this Pathway Endorsement Program. So hats off to all of you for all of your hard work, for all of your willingness to learn and to dig into the classroom um, to learn from your teachers as well as from the students and their families. So great work. We are so proud of you. I would be remiss, however, uh, if I didn't bring up a, a particular celebration as part of this work. So I, I think it's Brie. Brie, is, is there something you want to share with us that um, is a celebration um, in terms of your education pathway endorsement work? I made a finalist spot for the Golden Apple Scholarship. So in a few Saturdays, I will have an interview for the scholarship. And if I teach in Illinois five years after I graduate, then all my college tuition will be paid for if I go to school in Illinois. That is incredible. Um, you know, if we think about all of those incentives for doing this work, um, you guys are getting some hands-on experience. You're figuring out what maybe what you want to do with your lives and you're having doors open to, um, you know, just some incredible opportunities for um, acknowledgement and financial assistance. So again, congratulations, Bree and ladies, congratulations to all of you for all of your hard work. Um, you know, I think we're all winners in this because as we all know, there is an education shortage. Um, that we are certainly in the midst of and the opportunity for the four of you to move forward and get your degrees and come back to our communities is just a win-win-win for everyone involved. So we hope to catch up with you um, in, certainly in the future and um, who knows, maybe in a few years right back here on Teacher Talk as far as um, talking with you about your first years in the classroom. Wouldn't that be exciting? I think that wraps us up, Facebook friends, for another edition of Teacher Talk here on Facebook. Uh, we are looking forward to seeing Bree, Ellie, Haley, and Allie at our first annual education symposium on Friday, April 29th at Sauk Valley Community College, where they will be presenting their team-based challenge and receiving some special recognition for all of their hard work on the education pathway. So we want to thank them for all of their sharing this morning, as well as their, their educational leader, Mrs. Heidi Ripley, uh, for all of the work that she does and her time this morning on Teacher Talk. And stay tuned because we are gearing up for that Friday, April 29th event. So join us back here next Thursday for another edition of Teacher Talk, where we hope to celebrate additional students in our Education Pathway program and highlight some of their amazing work um, within the program and as they work toward their endorsement. As we close up, have a wonderful rest of your Thursday and even better Friday, a glorious spring weekend, and we will see you right back here next Thursday for another edition of Teacher Talk.